In this tutorial, let's see how we can edit our animation from Animation Editor. So for example, we viewed our animation from the beginning, and then we decide to change something in camera. So the simplest thing that you can do with animations, you can add some new camera positions. For that, select proper camera position in your 3D view, and fix it by making a left click over the camera. So here it is. Then we decide that the camera should go to this position. And we can update the following keyframe by making a right click over it and select Use Current Viewpoint. And this is what we have now. We have a top viewpoint. Then it goes here. And then completes the rotation. Just one thing to stress out is Keep your eye on these red dashed lines, so they should go in parallel. In order to review the viewpoint, you can make a right click for the viewpoint and then snap to viewpoint. However, focus time set to different time. Now we're just previewing this viewpoint. The better practice is to scroll to this viewpoint to see exactly what's going on. The previous key point can be also updated, so we can change different positions for the camera. For example, from this side, make a right click over it and select Use Current Viewpoint. So now the camera movement will be stopped. Then after that, we have a line interpolation. So our camera is moving. At this time, let's use the selected object as a pivot point for this viewpoint. Make a right click over viewpoint and set interpolation type as turntable. We can preview it from here. Set the rotation degrees. For example, I'll set 90 degrees. Then direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. Let it be clockwise, 90 degrees, and OK. So let's preview the animation. The focus time, these yellow markers, they're reflecting the position of the focus time on the gun chart. Let's go back to the start of the project. And then, for instance, if nothing is happening up to this point, we can update the focus time. Select a proper location of the focus time on the gun chart, then make a right click over the focus time in the animation editor, and select use current focus time. Now the focus time has been updated. So let's see what we have. Now our construction starts immediately. So by manipulating with focus time, we can speed up or slow down some works in the animation. As an example, we have contract piles, and I would like to see it from here. To here. And now our animation is mainly showing the construction of piles and foundations. Let's undo these changes. So all in all, whatever related to the camera, its position, rotation, the step, so it's configured from the camera, the GAN chart, or what works to see going slower or faster, is configured with focus time. And lastly, as a 3D view properties, you can set up some triggers, like appearance of the footnotes, and so on.